Yes, there are stars quite nice and some sometimes. Fascinating the difference a few days can make. So fascinating. Quite a warning too. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, <laughs> look at you, darling. You're coming to already. Now that was an absolute record. Hold on, let me see. Yes. Oh my goodness. That was incredibly fast that you were able to wake back up after that last dose of wolf's pain. You are something quite extraordinary, aren't you? You see, typically in the past when I've had more normal subjects, you sort of expect them to get a bit weaker every single day as the tests go on, as you get to know each other a bit. But you are no normal test subject, are you, my little pet? No. <laughs> that mongrel wolf blood that runs through your veins is good for something, I suppose. <laughs> Because unlike my normal subjects, you continue to get stronger every single day as we get closer to the full moon. Yes, quite fascinating. You're also answering a lot of questions that I've had about just how much your strength really is tied to the cycle of the moon. <laughs> Let me record the time of that last experiment. You know, I was just going over the numbers that we have here, darling. It's incredible what a few days can do to someone like you. Yes. Must be quite irritating having some days where you know you're just going to be so incredibly weak. And then other days where you can't help but feel like you can take on the world. I have noticed quite a lot of agitation the past few days as we've gotten closer to the full moon. Is that typical as well, or is that because of your current predicament? Yes, I suppose you wouldn't be honest about that, would you? See, I have a theory that as the wolf begins to take over, you do get a bit more in your countenance. Hmm. I guess we'll see. The full moon is almost upon us. I can't wait to see what happens to you as you transform, darling. I've heard that it is quite a painful experience for a while. I will very much enjoy watching that. For science, of course. <laughs> I can't wait. Now, I've also heard that when you are actually in your wolf state, you don't remember yourself as a person, and vice versa. How much do you actually remember when you wake up? It's a tight lip to me. Well, that's all right. Maybe I'll have to bribe you after your transformation. Once you turn back into a human, I'm sure that you're just going to be absolutely starving. I wonder if we should try to starve the wolf, or if I should give you something to catch. No, that would be too risky. At least for our first time together, darling. Go easy on me. Hmm. Quite fascinating, these numbers. Yes. I can't wait to see what happens after the full moon as well. I'm really not sure if you're still going to be very powerful or if the next night will be, you know, quite a bit weaker because the pain of the whole turning experience takes it out of you. I guess we'll see, won't we? I guess we will see. Well, 
enough dilly dallying, darling. Shall we get started for the day? We have quite a lot to get through, as I'm sure you are aware. I am nothing if not efficient with my time, so I hope that you have felt that your time here has not been wasted. <laughs> Pop on some gloves, shall we? You wouldn't want to contaminate the data. experiments that we need to do today, and I'm very excited to say that we're going to be trying something brand new today. You see, I've been waiting for this moment above almost any of the others, because as tomorrow night is the full moon, supposedly you are near the very height of your power. Now, I probably am not going to be able to get samples from the wolf you. Again, at least not this time. This time I am planning on simply observing. I guess we'll see about from, you know, a month from now. Maybe you'll be just a bit weaker with the diet I've been feeding you. But anyway, but today is the day that we are going. Yes, I, I can't wait. I'm sure that you've heard there are all sorts of rumours about werewolf's blood, the healing properties that you possess, and how those might affect other creatures as well. Mm. Getting hungry just thinking about it. Hold on. It's not good to work on an empty stomach. Oh, I do need to stop rationing this a bit more. Ugh. I'll admit, I didn't exactly anticipate how terribly famished I was going to be working with you for so long. You see, I wouldn't want to have to. Take a bite from you. Not yet, anyway. Have you heard about the rumours of what werewolf's blood does to a vampire? That luck tells me that you have, whether you'd like to say it or not. Yes, it is supposed to be something incredibly intoxicating, enhancing our already superior strength and senses tenfold, really. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how much restraint I have had to use to not just take a bite already. I just, I, I, I need you to understand how much I respect you, in the sense that I have not taken a bite of you yet. I mean, really, I'm a vampire. I'm sure you expected that to happen day one, but this is day, what, 13? And I haven't taken even a nibble. You're welcome. I will not have it said that I am a rude host. All right, darling, well. Seeing as you've been such a fascinating to subject so far, perhaps we'll see what this one, this little serum of wolf's bane, does to you today. We've been slowly increasing dosage every single day, and yet 
instead of it being more effective, it seemed to be even a little bit less. Today I think we're going to do the entire four cc's. And we'll see if this is able to stop you today. Yes, see the first day this had an almost immediate and quite drastic effect. But it hasn't been quite as effective lately. Good to know. Especially if there is to be a war between our people. Good to know what is effective and what isn't, isn't it? Alright, darling, so hold still. That never gets old. Of course you're holding still, you're still tied up in those wonderful silver chains. I just like to joke. Alright, let's see what this one does today, shall we? A little bit. There we are. Not too quickly. There. There we are. Let's see what that does to you today. Hmm. Still definitely a response. That's good to know. Good to know that it's not just Entirely ineffective. Mm. Mm. That was my cat. Maybe I'm not. No, just ignore me. Just look at something to show that I can see exactly what's going on in there. Transformed yet, so you shouldn't be suffering from any sort of memory loss. It's another quite awful design flaw in a werewolf, if you ask me. The fact that you can't even remember what you do when you were in your normal fleeing back ridden state. Yes. I mean, how is that actually a benefit to you at all? You can't think of controlling your attack or who you don't. You could kill your innocent people and let your actual enemies go for you. <laughs> so when you're at your strongest, you're still really at your weakest, aren't you? Quite pathetic. I can't believe that there are people who think that werewolves are on par with vampires. You wouldn't see us having such an awful memory lapse. Mm -mm. The only thing is maybe when a vampire gets very, very, very old, they 
you may start to get a bit hazy on some of the memories of their youth. Understand? Living for hundreds of years. Having hundreds of years of knowledge and learning and sophistication in your mind. The details get a bit hazy. That serum certainly didn't work as well. Maybe we'll have to go to the stronger one again. Mm. You know, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the difference between you at the new moon and you nearing the full moon to be quite so extreme. I really should have made more of this substance. You see, the plant, Wolfsbane, Aconitum, it's actually a bit difficult to get your hands on because it is, in fact, a poison to normal, boring humans as well. So it's a bit protected who gets to purchase it, where you can even find it, really. Now, in the name of experimentation, of course it has been completely worth it. But, in the future, if we actually want to weaponize this, we'll probably have to start growing it ourselves. Just have entire aconitum farms, maybe. Can you imagine that? A vampire farmer? <laughs> no, maybe we'll have to hire out for that. Yes, I can't see any of the vampires that I know wanting to get their hands dirty in the soil. That is not to the work for a race such as ours. I bet you like digging in the dirt, don't you? <laughs> At least one night a month. Okay, well, perhaps we'll revisit that later. But while you are at the height, your power. I would very much like, darling, to get a bit of blood to run some experiments on, too. <laughs> you see, the Vampiric Council hired me to find out what I could about what makes you mangy mutts tick. But, darling, your blood really is something quite miraculous. The healing properties that it possesses could actually be a medical breakthrough, not just for vampires. Yes, it is believed that drinking the blood of a wolf would make someone like me incredibly powerful, but it's possible that Figuring out what makes your blood so powerful could actually benefit all of humanity. It's actually quite selfish of you that none of you wolves have let your blood even be studied before. That's yeah, quite rude. So, picture this. A few years from now, after I've been able to conduct some experiments, I enter the human world as a very well-learned doctor and present my findings on a new magical cure. <laughs> Not magical per se, people don't particularly like that word, but miraculous, at the very least. A cure that can heal wounds almost instantly, can help to rid a person of many different diseases, even prevent them from getting sick or getting that disease in the first place. Can you imagine what the humans would pay for something like that? I could set myself up for the rest of eternity, which I will live for goes to plan. It could be absolutely miraculous. <laughs> so, darling, I would very much like to get some of your blood. And today,
day would be the perfect day to do so. I'm sure you would agree. Now, dearest, we have been through this so many times. Those chains are made of silver. Silver. Not only is it a very pure element that almost all non-human creatures dislike, but silver is also alchemically said to have the power of the moon. Particularly strong against a creature such as you, whose strength and weakness is so very tied to the power and the cycle of the moon. You really are a slave to that big white ball in the sky, aren't you? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you do. You're here. And you're mine. And let's be honest, darling. I can be much worse to you, if you would like that. I'm still feeding you every day, aren't I? You know, we could run some experiments to see what would happen to a werewolf if you have to go a few days without food or water. It's possible. It would be interesting to see. Perhaps we'll do that for the next full moon too. As you get closer to the full moon, I feed you less and less and less, and see how that affects your numbers. But they wouldn't be quite as extraordinary. So, darling, I honestly could be a much worse hostess. Got to be polite to your guests, after all. But if you insist on struggling over and over and over again, I could be much worse. And as you can see from the missing scratches on my face, even the wound from a werewolf doesn't stay on a vampire for long. <laughs> I'm very glad it didn't scar. Yes, I mean, it would have been, I suppose, sort of a token of our time together, but it was rather conspicuous. You see, as a vampire, I do need to try to blend in now and then. Especially when I, you know, don't age like the rest of humanity. So, it is very nice that your little scratches from before did not actually scar. Anyway, all of that to say, things could be much, much, much worse for you. So I would be grateful if I were you. Your cooperation is highly appreciated. And your stubbornness is starting to get annoying. At first it was quite fun, honestly, seeing the fire in your eyes, but uh, it does start to get to be a bit of a bother, darling. Alright, well got some little vials here. You see, they're not very big. I won't be taking all that much blood. Well, I will be filling more than one of these. I suppose we'll see how you're doing, but seeing as you are at the height of your power now, I really don't think that it would be that bad for me to take half a dozen, maybe? Maybe not quite half a dozen. Maybe we'll start with four or five. Let's see how you're doing it. Okay. Might as well just take the corks off of some of these. There we are. Okay. There we are. Good, 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 good. The secrets that this little jar is about to hold. Does it excite you? <laughs> a 
I suppose we can't all have minds for science like me. Aren't you even the least bit curious? What would happen if I were to just take a little nibble? No. Mm. You're no fun. Oh well. Okay. Now I do believe that we are just about ready to begin, darling. Hold nice and still for me, please. <laughs> I didn't even need to use a tourniquet. That blood is coursing through your body, isn't it? Right. So it filled up quite quickly, goodness. Right. <laughs> that is still flowing very quickly, but I think that should probably be it for now. I don't want you passing out. I actually would really like you to be able to witness the wonder that we're going to do today. Right. Just to get that out of here. Look at those bandages go. Let's see. There we are. Hey, darling. Let me bandage that up for you, you know? Hmm. Your blood pressure seems to be a bit high. Are we feeling alright, darling? There. That's not too tight, is it? Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Well, let's see what we have here. Do you look at that? It looks almost normal. Almost like normal human blood, really. I think I should have drank a bit more before doing this. <laughs> Unless it has been aged for a while, like a fine wine, but that is very hard to come by. You see, it takes quite a process to be able to bottle and preserve the blood in a way that it won't go bad before you open it in a few hundred years, you know. As a family of empires in Italy have perfected process, and as you can imagine, it is quite expensive. Mostly, bottled blood doesn't have all that much for shelf life, and it just tastes so stale, really. Ugh. It's like eating rations. I mean, it's better than nothing. It's nothing like getting it from the source. You can't imagine how famished I am. Drinking nothing but that awful slurry. When I have this wonderful, quite, if I'm being honest, quite attractive wolf right here in front of me. What would be the harm if we just took a little taste? I mean, really, may maybe it wasn't supposed to happen yet. But 
Would it really be that bad? I just took a little taste. I cannot begin to describe to you how delicious you smell. How delicious this smells. Uh, I have so much of it. Well, if I was going to actually taste you, it would be much, much, much better to just take it from the source, of course. It's always bad. When it's hot out of the body. Mm-hmm. What's that? to do this right, to take these awful things off. There we are. Now I can actually really get a feel for you. <laughs> you know, darling, it is quite nice to know that even at this point in our relationship, I can still see fear in your eyes from some Aren't you just the least bit curious of what it would do to a vampire to have your blood? I can tell you it smells stronger than any human blood I've ever tasted. It really is quite rude of you to smell so good when it's just you and me in this little hut in the woods. All alone. Mm. Let's see which side would be better. Mm. Those veins are quite nice. See, there's sort of an art to biting someone in a way where you don't take too much. And of course, you wouldn't want to sever any sort of actual important art. Because it can go quite badly, but it's very, very possible for a vampire to have a nice, refreshing drink without actually killing you. This side, I think. Hmm, well, that side doesn't look bad either. It is often one side looks better than the other, but you, darling. They both smell delicious. Now, darling, I don't want you to be worried. I am not going to take all that much. Because, as we have established, I am first and foremost a scientist. And it would be best to be able to gauge the difference that it makes in me. Just a little bit at a time. Just a little bit. You wouldn't want to overdo it. Especially on the first time. And you are at the height of your power now, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> you can struggle all you want, darling. If you'd like, I could give you more of this first. Maybe that would help to just calm you down a bit. You know what, all right, we're not going to do another injection, but perhaps if we just put a bit of this on the tongue. Just a bit on your tongue. Should just help to calm you down just a little bit. Now, darling, we've been over this. You can try to resist opening your mouth if you would like. I am not above plugging your nose, so you have to breathe. Then that was quite silly, wasn't it? I could always go get those big metal clamps again. Did you enjoy that? No, I didn't. 
didn't seem as though you did. But I certainly could. Or you could just open your mouth for me. This is going to happen whether you want it to or not. Barring some miraculous intervention. As I said, it is for science. There are very few things that I'm not willing to do. For science, of course. Now, we won't do too much. Just about that much, I think. Now, be a good little wolf and open your mouth for me, darling. Lucky for me, vampires are still quite strong. There. Bottoms up. See? There. And that should help to just ease that tension. Smooth out some of those rough edges that have come out recently with the approach of the full moon. And help you just relax a little bit. Just relax a little. Just relax. Now this would be an excellent time to use some vampiric hypnosis. But we've already established that that doesn't work, unfortunately. Oh well. Concoction should do the trick just for now. Shall I count it down for you, darling? To help ease your nerves a bit. It's okay. I know it's your first time. We won't do too much. Um, quite at the taste. <laughs> quite at the taste. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, that will be quite an experiment to see how that goes for me. <laughs> how was it for you, darling? You know, I've heard from some people that it's actually a bit exciting, really, when a vampire bites you. It, it's, it's painful, but it's the sort of painful that also feels a bit good. <laughs> well, perhaps not with that hate in your eyes. Maybe you'll learn to enjoy it the longer that we spend. Now there, there is 
a certain rush whenever you drink blood right from the source. This is something a bit different. <laughs> Definitely quite different. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I should have set up some tests to, to see what I could do. <laughs> this is quite extraordinary. <laughs> I can't even speak correctly. Mm. You, though, on the other hand, you're looking quite tired, aren't you? I suppose that's to be expected. After quite an extensive blood draw, and then after. I'm sure that you are feeling quite weak, even at your most powerful. Even the strongest of humans do sometimes feel a bit queasy after donating blood. And after being bitten, just for the record, I do have quite a lot of experience of that too. I know that it does often affect you quite deeply. Hmm. Perhaps we should call it a day a bit early today. Or at least give you a bit of a chance to rest, darling. You're really not looking so good. And I am actually feeling spectacular. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. We'll keep it a bit more low-key for you, right? I think it would perhaps be best for you to get a bit of rest. Hmm. You know what, darling? I'm going to do you a favour, okay? We're going to use just a bit more of this. And I think this time it will help to just put you into a very deep sleep. Just to give you a chance to rest and recuperate from all of that blood loss. It's not good for you mortals, you know. Why don't you open up, darling? <laughs> Hardly any resistance there, darling. There we go. Just a few more drops on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Bye. Should help to just give you a nice little send off to sleep, darling. To sleep, darling. And tomorrow the real fun begins. So I get to watch your transformation for the very first time. I can't wait. But for now, you. Sleep, darling. Sleep, darling. Sleep, darling. Sleep, sleep, darling. Sleep.